Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Brandon Losada, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a lens distortion transition effect in Adobe Premiere Pro, so let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. All right, so now we're in Adobe Premiere Pro, and I dragged the two clips into the sequence that we're going to apply the lens distortion transition effect to. And right now, it's just a normal cut, so if I play it back, it's just gonna look something like this nothing special so let's just get right into how to do the effect so if you go to the effects tab over here you're gonna want to go under video effects distort and then under the distort, you're gonna find lens distortion so you're gonna drag the lens distortion effect onto the first clip over here and then you're gonna just want to drag this to the end of that clip and you're gonna want to go with your arrow keys 10 frames to the left one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you don't need to go 10 frames. You can go as many frames as you'd like or as little amount of frames as you'd like. But for this example, we're going to use 10. So you're going to come up here to the effect controls for that clip. Scroll down to lens distortion. And you're going to want to toggle on a keyframe for curvature. And then you're going to go to the end of that clip once again. And scroll back down to lens distortion and you're going to make the ending curvature negative 100. So when I play that back, it's going to look something like this. It's going to gradually go from zero to negative 100 curvature. And then it'll cut into the next clip. So we're going to need to do the same exact thing to the second clip now so we can hide that cut in between the two lens distortions. So drag the lens distortion onto the second clip, scroll down in the effect controls, and you're gonna toggle on a keyframe for that second clip as well. And since the curvature in the previous clip ended at negative 100, we're gonna start this curvature at negative 100. And then you're gonna go 10 frames to the right with the arrow keys. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're gonna come back over here to the effect controls, and then you're gonna change the curvature to zero. So if I play the whole entire clip back, the curvature is gonna go from zero to negative 100 to negative 100 to zero again. And by doing that, you're gonna be able to hide the cut in between the two lens distortions. So it's gonna look something like this. And that's pretty much it. It's an easy effect. And if you're using this transition in any of your videos, if you line it up with the correct audio or sound effects, you'll end up creating some pretty cool looking stuff. So that's pretty much it. And here it is once more. If this video helps you out in any way, please hit that subscribe button and leave a like. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I'll see you.